what is going on guys today i want to talk about reroute nodes and comment boxes so these are two very sort of tools useful organization in your materials um i will be doing more advanced material tutorials soon i have this hologram one i want to actually make it look more like a hologram we've got some core effects on it at the moment um but i want to just a bit more i've got some ideas for some other tutorials and there should be coming out on a sort of every monday but this one just gonna be a very quick one talking about comment boxes and reroute nodes so if we come into this material if any of you are really sort of really quick at the pickup you'll be able to make this i guess just by seeing this layout uh, but that's not what we're looking at today so if we look at what's going on here it's quite hard to tell if i were to open this in like a couple months time or if i gave this to uh, you know an artist or a programmer or something and they wanted to change something and they didn't have any parameters like I, I I have parameters set up so it's not too bad but if they didn't have that they'd open this up and you wouldn't really know what they're looking at so we'll look at comment boxes first so if I look up here I could be like okay this is my um my textures you know this controls all my textures this controls all my color and I can start sort of dividing up where I want things to be so I could come up here and be like okay let's move that side press C on your keyboard you get this huge comment box then I can call this like uh, I don't know hologram pattern because I could always change this for something else it doesn't have to be circles then I could come down here keep that up there come down here I could be like C on these guys and I could say color that's pretty much how you set up your comment boxes so if I quickly just Go over that uh, near fade. Come over here, oh, and that's my offset or wild offset uh, or position offset. So obviously, I'm not going to explain what these do. So that's in a separate story. But yeah. So you can sort these things out to be in boxes, and that makes it neater. Now, one more thing is reroute nodes so what reroute nodes do is let's find a good example where we can use it cool so let's say this was like this and there was no way around having this the way it's placed here we can't kind of tell what parts connected at least at first glance you could be like oh where, where is it coming from oh that's going into there and then this is coming into over here so you can move them around to sort it out or you could just go Drag that up there, right? Reroute. Add a reroute node. See where I plugged that into. So I plugged it down there. And then I could plug that in. And that makes it a little less sort of overlapping each other and a bit neater. Again, I could do it over here if I really wanted to. And not only for when you give it to programmers or when you give it to other artists, but when you look at it yourself in the future, it could like i've had it loads of times it could be super helpful you could do multiple as well so if i connect that to another reroute it could be super helpful um having all this set up because when you look at the material in the future you're like oh, okay okay this will make sense you know there's no overlapping lines here everything's in comment boxes and it just sort of helps you out um, in the future but yeah that's all i really wanted to show for this tutorial again very quick one just like to help you guys sort out your materials and just make it so you don't make them sort of overly complex to, again for yourselves for the future or for other artists hope you guys enjoyed the hologram texture or material should i say will be next week's um material and i also want to start a new series where i basically make materials that i see in video games because i think that could be really fun uh, i have some ideas already if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see uh don't hesitate to put it in the comment section and i could try to find a way to do it again hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you next time Bye bye